Hey, it's Sarah with House Copper. Um, today I'm going to do just really something super quick. Um, if you're doing any type of tinning or trying to tin um, or attempting to set up your shop, or um, if you just are cleaning your tin that you've recently refurbished or tried to scrub clean, um, the, the, it's really, really simple. Um, and clearly I've been tinning, so this is like a very brand new finished piece. So it's really easy. I take dish soap, just run of the mill, dawn, anything you want. And then um, I fill, I fill with water. And what you're trying to do is you're getting off all the extra flux um, that's in your bath. Um, I also use this as a time to um, feel around inside my pot and um, see if I can feel any really bad spots that'll catch on a dish towel or be a problem, something I can't kind of lightly take off um, afterwards. Um, but mainly, you're getting the flux off and making sure that you don't have any bad things. So, it's really wet, but yeah. Um, and then you have your, your lime on the, on the bottom. This is a really great time to clean that off. I just use my hands because they get dirty easily anyway. And this is when you're gonna start cleaning off all the, the dirt. Because your tin is gonna get dirty too doing this. You may as well just do it all at once. I use a bit of this again, the dish soap. Um, and then this is the time when wire brush again. These are your friend, especially around these areas. You're gonna scrub away all the grime, the lime um, that you have. Um, if, you know, you should have kind of pre-cleaned around the exterior handles before you went over the fire, because otherwise all you're doing is baking on that grime and grease even more. So, we're gonna do that as much as you can. I mean, I'm not gonna make you watch me clean this whole thing because that would be boring. But essentially, you're cleaning around these rivets, or around the handles. So you're gonna do that. Then you're gonna use oxidation remover. I use Tarnix. What that's gonna do is gonna give you a really good start to your buffing because otherwise you're gonna have to work five times harder to buff. I use toothbrush, like my daughter's old toothbrush. And you scrub away and scrub away, scrub away a million minutes and get as much oxidation off as you possibly can on the whole exterior, do another wash. The goal is to keep the Tarnex off of your interior tin as much as possible because it is a chemical and it is going to potentially leave um, like kind of almost it looks like watermark. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then you then you go to your buffing wheels and then you you know if you want I do a hand polish at the end. But there you go. There's a post tinning clean for you. Enjoy. Let me know any questions, comments, ideas, the way it's worked for you, and uh, we'll have a good time. Thanks for watching.